If you want to sound like the Concords, just get two of these and you pretty much have it. Brett and I play um, hapless musicians who've, who've uh, come over to New York to try and make it in, the, in showbiz. And it's loosely based on us and then it's like a little part of you exaggerated. Which is I guess most good comedy characters are like have that something real about them. We were thinking about the idea of doing a show which was narrative but had songs in it, you know, like a musical without being a musical. <laughs> One of the, that's one of our secret sounds that um, not many people know about. That's how we get it. Doubling the baby piano with the, with the grand piano. I write all the songs. This is really behind the scenes stuff, Flight of the Concords in the studio. Sometimes Brett will write um, a whole song or I'll write a whole song and uh, just teach the other one and sometimes we work together on them. New Zealand studios are pretty similar to these studios actually. Lots of instruments, um, and the only difference is the people that work here have American accents. Oh, I've played like in a reggae band and a electro band. If I only knew, that's what you're into. You and him, him and you. If that's what you're into, him hanging round, around you, you're hanging round, yeah, you're there too. Because they're kind of shy, the songs are uh, like they're sort of subconscious, so it's like because they can't express themselves very well, the way they choose to express themselves is through song. And, so and if you want me to, I will take off all my clothes for you, I'll take off all my clothes for you, if that's what you're into. How about him in the nude, if that's what you're into, in the nude in front of you. Is that what you'd want to view? We had a, a whole lot of songs that we wanted to, to use, so we just started writing stories that would enable the songs to be to fit fit in. And sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't, as you'll see. The idea was always that the music would take you forward in the story. Cause it's important, cause otherwise you just forget about the story. And they're in New York trying to make it as a band, um, and they're struggling. We don't get as many groupies as as we had planned. Our fans, we don't have very many, but people that like Flight of the Conquest tend to be very committed. But they've always have, they always have the support of my character, Mel, who is, just has a bottomless affection and sexual craving for them. Oh, hi there. You're watching Flight of the Concords on HBO. I'm just going to turn up the, um, this one. Turn up the mix.